The WWE Universe with an electric feeling here tonight. We are sold out and raring to go. I am amped up, pumped up, jacked up, and ready to kick things off. What are we waiting for, fellas? Let's watch some fights. The largest competitor in the history of WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from the land of the rising sun, weighing in at 558 pounds, Yokozuna! What makes Yokozuna so scary is his ability to use his massive frame or surprising agility to earn the win in any situation. Well, that ability, Corey, has earned Yokozuna victories over all-time greats like Bret the Hitman Hart, the immortal Hulk Hogan, and The Undertaker. look on the face of Yokozuna right now who no doubt is ready for battle. I suggest Yoko's opponent take heed of the ominous warning, Banzai. The Samoan bulldozer, a truly ruthless competitor. And his opponent from the Weighing in at 350 pounds, Umaga. We may be about to see a fight or a one-sided mauling. Umaga went undefeated in WWE for over a half a year. Yeah, during that time, Umaga earned victories over the likes of Kane, John Cena, Shawn Michaels, and Triple H. Unmatched savagery inside the ring from bell to bell from Umaga. Umaga is on a mission here tonight. Complete obliteration of anyone else in the ring. You know, after arriving here in WWE, Umaga quickly earned himself a vicious reputation. Everyone came to learn that he pulls no punches in the ring, and in fact even enjoys inflicting pain and suffering on his opponents. Umaga wants nothing more than to conquer his competition by the most grisly means possible. He shows no remorse inside the ring and fights like a man who has gone to war. And that's exactly what makes Umaga a frightening opponent. Is it enough here? He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of him. Claw in the face, is this necessary? Oh, oh, what a nasty, nasty move. Headbutt in the back of the neck. Momentum is really on Yokozuna's side. Yeah, somehow he might have. They get a bottle submission here, Case. Got him turned over, the Boston Crab. It's cinched in. I think we're just moments away from seeing a tap. Trying to free himself, trips the ankle, and he's out. And kicks off his opponent. What a shot. Through the clothesline. What's going to be the key for Umaga tonight if he wants to completely dominate his opponent? Umaga needs to be as deliberate as he is destructive. If he can contain, he goes for the pin. Dude just gets the shoulder up. And frustration might be starting to set in. And set him up. Oh, and he's in the hands. That's going to hurt. Perfect 
perfect time to attack when his guard is down. Punishing the leg. Superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. Yeah, but I don't think his opponent is happy about losing here. I mean, he's got to be humiliated and embarrassed. He thought he was going to win this match. Oh, I kind of did too. Sports entertainment is in art form. One of the best competitors around, ready to show her skills. since this match was announced, and I think the competitors plan on delivering on that hype. She knows she deserves to be atop this division, and a win tonight will go a long way towards that. She has the singular goal of being the most dominant superstar in the women's division. And she has no issue getting in your face about it either. She doesn't care who she has to run over. There is no second place for her in any competition. Yeah, but chomping at the bit is a superstar who's felt underrated and underappreciated as of late. And it's time for her to make everyone remember. And she goes for the pin. Gets the shoulder up in one. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Oh my god, a DDT! Lights up. Oh, get ready. She knows exactly what she's doing with this submission hold. Last ah, submission locked in. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. Is she gonna tap? She's got it locked in. No, she doesn't. That was a great counter and so simple. <laughs> Slow. 
Snap to take over. Oh, look at the kick. Oh, she did her homework there. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. It gears the cover. One, two. And she kicks at it, too. That was a long two count there. Trying their opponent's arm out. Oh, my goodness. Fails to connect on the springboard. Oh, from behind. Oh, wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. Attack from behind. Right after the neck. Oh, she responds with a counter. Oh, my God. A DDT. Standing shooting star. Can she score the pin? Superstar picks up a huge victory here tonight. Much deserved, Michael. Got to be humiliated and embarrassed. It's the Hart Foundation. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World of Wrestling Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 516 pounds. Jim the Anvil Nighthawk and Brett the Hitman Hart, the Hart Foundation. A true Hall of Fame tag team when you look at Brett the Hitman Hart and Jim the Anvil Nighthawk. And introducing the champions at a combined weight of 608 pounds. They are the World of Wrestling Tag Team Champions, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, the NWO. Corey, what's the champ's mindset right now heading into this huge title defense? Confidence is key, Cole. They have to remind themselves that they are the absolute best WWE has to offer right now. The moment they doubt that is the moment we could very likely see them get picked off.
about ready to begin this tag team championship match. Championship is on the line, so it's a big fight feel in this. Jim the Anvil Nightheart. And Bret Hart. The opposing team is, of course, filled with Kevin Nash and Scott Hall. The champs are not going down without a fight, but the challengers really seem ready for the challenge tonight. I think it's going to be a dugout brawl on another level because neither of these teams want to go home without the title. Pressure's on, gotta get out quick. Now, what a great counter. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. The challenger's looking shaken. And Nash didn't see that coming. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. He gets tagged in. Ready to go. Ready 
to end this. If he can step through, he's got it in. The sharpshooter. Can you imagine what it would do to his confidence if he tapped out right here, right now? It might be the smart move. Look at this. He let it go. Oh, new champ. Defending champion had this well in hand, but the new champ had other plans. It just goes to show you anything can happen in WWE. One of the tallest competitors in WWE history. The personification of intimidation. The Colossus has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing weapons of mass destruction from Lagos, Nigeria. Weighing in at 400 pounds, Omar. We're going to talk about how dominant Omos has been already yeah. in his WWE career. This is a man who won the Raw Tag Team titles in his debut match, which took place at WrestleMania. And in the days since, Omos has scored major wins against superstars the caliber of Riddle, even his former tag team partner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Towers over the entire locker room, both literally and figuratively. Who in the world can take down this Colossus known as Omas?
The roof just came off this place. And from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 230 pounds, Rowdy, Rowdy Piper. The legendary Rowdy Roddy Piper. WWE Hall of Famer, one of the all-time greats. Roddy Piper's entire career has been predicated on being controversial. When you think you've got the answers, Hot Rod changes the questions. And from Utah, weighing in at 260 pounds, Jaren. Dixon. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. He said he'll be making a statement in this match tonight and will deliver it emphatically. And what a big fight we're about to witness. When Balor dons the war paint, it's like his abilities are taken to the next level. said the demon is where his artistic and wrestling sides meet. It allows him to release his inner demon and channel a more aggressive side of his personality. Every superstar has that, that one attribute 
that one innate feeling that takes them to the next level, that drives them to go that much harder. That innate attribute for Finn Balor truly is the demon. take some pride in their work, but who could blame them? Few are as gifted in the ring as this performer. Wow, you are laying it on thick, Saxton. Don't worry, I'm sure they'll hear you when they watch this match 10 times before bed tonight. Competitor with his share of detractors, but he wants to prove them all wrong here tonight. The bell is wrong, and anything goes in this no disqualification match. This is just going to be a brawl that could turn real ugly real quick. No rules to obey means no limit on. And I love it. And Finn Balor connected nicely there. Rocked his opponent. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Into the cover. Oh. That could have been it right there. Oh, here he goes for the win. And he closed it out. Oh, God. He stops the count. Disqualification. The superstars can do whatever they want, but it can only end with a three count or a tackle. One stop! Hey. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Oh my! Inflicting pain at will.
system. And there's the cover.
Undertaker's nose. This is gonna be nasty. There's the power into the driven down with a jackhammer. One of the best to ever do that move. Man, it's gonna feel good. Sweet, sweet victory. Here is your winner, Jaron Dixon. And that's a textbook win. A lot to be proud of there. No doubt about it, the better superstar definitely won tonight. Better get ready. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 238 pounds, the Superstar. Ever since I took my spot here at the commentary table, I have wanted to call this match. I cannot wait to finally do it. This is a match he's craved for quite some time. He's ready and raring to go. Here comes the bruiser weight. And his opponent accompanied by from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, the Bruiser weight, Pete Dunne. Very rarely will you find a superstar who derives as much pleasure from hurting their opponent as Pete Dunn does. Dunn enjoys winning as much as he enjoys inflicting pain upon his opponents. You don't have to like Pete Dunn, but he will demand that you remember his name. What are you expecting from this superstar tonight, guys? Well, he did say earlier that he's going to attack his opponent with a renewed hostility that we've never seen before. Yeah, he also said he's going to make the competition beg for mercy. But then there's Pete Dunne, a competitor who comes to the ring tonight with a bad attitude and bad intention. Into the cover. Oh, my. How in the world did he kick out of that? These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Scoop slam. Wait, no. Wow. Outrageous strength on display. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. Kick to the gut. Uh-oh. We're going to see it. Two. 
wasn't even close to over. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex! Yeah. Capitalizes on Dunn's mistake.
There's a man who's been called one of the best pure strikers in all of WWE. The statement is hard to argue with. We are looking at one of NXT's most successful competitors ever. From Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 200 pounds, Kyle O'Reilly! A man who has achieved success all over the world and has the skills to add to his incredible resume here in WWE. Amazing grappling and striking skills, supremely competent. O'Reilly's already backed it up and continues to do so. The brighter the lights, the harder the strikes for Kyle O'Reilly. The Alpha Academy is open for business. We are about to see a clinic. Representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Former Olympian, former NXT Tag Team Champion, SmackDown Live Tag Team Champion, one of the most self-assured superstars you will see in the WWE. is here. The Demon Finn Balor! What a moment! What a spectacle. And what a big fight we're about to witness. When Balor dons the war paint, it's like his abilities are taken to the next level. Hey, check it out. Lashley, Corbin, Owens, Rollins, Styles. All thought they were ready for the demon. All of them were wrong. An entity that has overwhelmed many before and will continue to do so. It takes a very brave man to face a demon, knowing that demise is likely inevitable. Does Balor's opposition tonight finally have the key to slaying the demon.
The Persian Lion. From Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 190 pounds, Aria Tavari. Feels disrespected by a new class of cruiserweights. Well, Davari now with a chance to display his veteran cruiserweight experience. Hey, Aria Davari, uh, well, you could say he's had a rather abrasive relationship with the WWE Universe, but I don't think he cares. Well, here comes a tremendous third-generation talent. Well, I call him an arrogant but skilled luchador. It's not arrogance if you can back it up, Saxton. From Monterrey, Mexico, weighing in at 205 pounds, Angel! Well, he's held the NXT Cruiserweight Championship and won the 24-7 title at a New Year's Eve party. Saxton, you were already in bed when that happened. It's hard to believe that this guy used to wear a mask. I mean, masking guards is like muting graves in the options menu. Here comes a man with a plan himself, the Brian Kendrick. Unpredictable and as dangerous as the day is long. From Venice, California, weighing in at 174 pounds, the Brian Kendrick. Kendrick, a multi-time tag team champion, a former cruiserweight champion as well, ultra-talented veteran of the ring. When you're as ready and prepared and plan as well as Kendrick, titles just sort of happen. Don't you guys just love it when a great plan comes together? And introducing the champion from New York, weighing in at 187 pounds. He is the World of Wrestling Cruiserweight Champion, the Spider Man. Remember, guys, the title's on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands.
is a little worse for wear now. Finn gets stopped in his tracks. Setting him up for the flat line. Setting up an elimination here. Oh, there's a 
spots against Finn. Well placed, Cap. He's staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. And Cap is rolling himself to keep the pressure on. Kendrick might have his sights set on putting things to rest here. Base first with a waist lock takedown. As the wrist trapped. And now a series of stomps and kicks. exciting teams of this generation. Make way for the Irish Ace. This is going to be good. And their opponents first from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 180 pounds. He is the Irish ace, Jordan Devlin. Uh, this man began training at 12 years old. He was actually trained by Finn Balor. Obviously, Balor taught him well as this man owns the longest Cruiserweight title reign in WWE history at 438 days. Hey, he's got a big ego. All attitude. But Jordan Devlin always backs it up in the ring. Confidence personified. The age of Alexander continues. And from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Obviously, this man's grown cocky. He doesn't respect the locker room veterans. 
but Cedric Alexander does possess the skills to back up the aforementioned cockiness. Cedric Alexander, former cruiserweight champion, former Raw tag team champion. And listen, he's got a bright future. And in this tag team bout, it's gonna be Jey Uso and Jimmy Uso. Then across from them we see Jordan Devlin and Cedric Alexander. We have to be expecting a frenetic pace in this matchup. These teams stop for nothing. They are all go from bell to bell. You know it here, Corey? Well, it's locked in. An extreme amount of pressure in this submission hole. There is no doubt, surrender. Slipped right underneath, and just like that, he's out of the hole. Boom, what impact. Here's the cover. He forces a break before the count of two. He's not even close to being done yet. Setting up. Nice suplex. Vertical suplex. Shoulder targeted 
it there. And he saw that coming from Cedric. Take that. Turned that one around. Oh, my God. He's getting a little batter now. Drop right on their face. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Knee drop connects. There's a tag. and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Really 
just laying it in. That holds back Cedric's attack. Jawbreaker! Call it that. He is truly feeling it right now, as well he should. seen in the match would have already ended most superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off the charts. Snap suplex. Six. The rest count ain't stopping. The clock is ticking here. Barely made it back in time. I didn't think they were going to make it into a neck breaker. Take a good look at a real life Titan, folks. He's taking a moment Ooh. to feel the crowd, but he's got to focus on the opposition. Oh my God, a DDT! Spike them. With the tag is Jey Uso. Ah, oh, gets cracked by the overhand. chance to simply take it all in. Right across the 
chest. We all know what Cedric's lining up for. Tag made. Tag made. He is delivering elbow after elbow. And he saw that coming from Cedric. Cedric Allen. That could finish off Jay. Cover. One, two, three. An exhausting victory, but a win nonetheless. Here are your winners, Jordan Devlin and Cedric Alexander. Two great superstars that go great together, and that win is proof. That's about as perfect an example of tag team wrestling you're ever likely to see. question about it. Batista will demand the respect of the WWE Universe right here tonight. the good old USA, weighing in at 284 pounds, the American Dream. The superstar has a lot of confidence, a lot of pride, but there's also a lot of respect for their opposition tonight. Oh, I get it. Great mind games at work. No, Corey, just respect. Oh, so this superstar is just an idiot. Got it. He said he'll steal the show here tonight, and he looks more than ready to deliver on that promise. upon their arrival and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. It's this simple for the champ. Win no matter what the stakes are.
Here comes a man with a plan himself, the Brian Kendrick. Unpredictable and as dangerous as the day is long. And from Venice, California, weighing in at 174 pounds, the Brian Kendrick. Kendrick, a multi-time tag team champion, a former cruiserweight champion as well, ultra-talented veteran of the ring. When you're as ready and prepared and plan as well as Kendrick, titles just sort of happen. Don't you guys just love it when a great plan comes together? And the bell is rung, getting this tag match started. When you think of tag teams that are itching to make an impact on tonight's event, you don't have to look any further than these two. Two teams with a desire to steal the show. Rotating verticals. Batista might get an early three count. One. He kicks out before the count hits two. Not the worst idea going for a pin there, but it's close. Solely focused on... Ooh! Legs caught! Spy Buster! And he has answers for Batista. Oh, and Batista is sent for a ride and lands hard. Come on, count along if you want. The 10 beats of the bottom. Will this be enough? One, two, Kick out just in time. He thought he had it. Seated knee strike. Should be getting... Makes him pay with a counter. And the electricity of this moment is coursing through his veins. And tag, he did it. Let's go. He's got him down. Is this it? Referee breaks the count. Looks like a rope break. Tag is registered. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Ah, oh, saw it coming. Brutal stomp to the body. And just getting started. Look at this brutality. This is how you torture your opponent. Oh my God, this is hard to watch. With the tag is Batista. So precise with the super kick. Kick can into the torture rack. Oh, will Batista recover? The cover! One, two, and they're still in this! Amazing resiliency from Batista to kick out there, but you gotta wonder if that was his last breath. It must be demoralizing knowing you've unleashed your best shot on your opponent to no avail. Big kick. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. Reaches his partner for the tag. Producing a trampoline. Going right after the neck. Neckbreaker. Oh, man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. Oh, look at the well placed elbow right on the mark. Dominating shoulder tackle. Slam. Partner tags in. Oh, perfect kick. Bad predicament right here. Up and over, out of the way to the 
floor. He's lost some of his win now. Blast off. Whoa, what a landing. You want to talk about putting it all on the line. Always an extra risk when you dive ringside. Right to the kidneys from behind. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. See the electric chair. Yeah. Nope. Rolling elbow right on the mark. Two. Oh, oh my God! Three. So leg breaker. Kendrick was scattered there. Punch connects. Four. And he'll come back from under the apron. Able to get there in time. He's taking some good hits. Kick to the gut. Burn control. Oh, man. Kick to the face. Wow. Springboard attack. Kim, this is it. Shoulders up before two. And that won't beat him. I'm not sure anything will. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. He knows how to avoid contact. Up into the torture rack. Beast your eyes. So glad I bet on him to win. So does that one. Two. No, he beats the count. I do not know how you survive that. Staying alive there is unheard of. All that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. We are seeing a next level performance from these competitors tonight. They've shown a lot of resiliency. You have to give them that. Submission there. Tag made. Fresh man in. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Firm control. Nasty kick to the face. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. And he sends him into the corner. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Oh, a kick to the face. God. He may be in a bad way here. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Up into the torture rack. Oh, beast your eyes. Can it be capitalized on him? And he breaks the pin. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Perched up top. Expected that one. Tag made. Whips across the rank. Flying shoulder block. Take a good look at a real life titan, folks. Tag is made. And here we does he have him here? Still in it with a quick kick out. Better hold off on the victory parade. Oh, it. And he makes it to the ropes. I knew he could. Oh, God. This match is brutality starting to show on him. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Hung out to drive. Kendrick looking to attack from above. Take 
taking flight. Good Lord, taking flight. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Oh, drop kick to the spine. Stomp it away. Batista turns it around. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Batista's being picked apart here. Kendrick's doing a great job remaining engaged, remaining attached. What a raucous crowd here tonight. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Eight. Nice take that. Competition that they'll only ever be second best. Momentum's with Kenrick now. Batista looks to have been running scouring. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. That gets reversed on Kenrick. Batista finding a way to slow his opponent's assault down. Time now for Batista to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. So much damage inflicted. Start counting, Saxton. Two, one, two, three. We could be here four, all day. Three. I think you're right. Four. Oof. Five. Six. Thunderous power slam. And Kendrick takes on a further beating Seven. there. Yeah, Kendrick being faced with adversity here. Staring his opponent down, getting into that zone. Wow, got it. Big time tag team win. Here are your winners. The American Dream and the Animal Batista. A count out is always a tough way to lose. I hate a count out. I feel cheated and I know the WWE Universe feels cheated. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Houston, Texas. Weighing in at 220 pounds, the real deal, Jason David Frank. This competitor is one of the most dedicated and fair people I've ever met. They take their matches very seriously. Saxon, this isn't a place for seriousness. It's a place for all-out combat. They should try loosening their tie a little bit. A guy who treats every match as if it's the biggest one of his career. He definitely plans to steal the show tonight. And his opponents, first, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, the World of Wrestling Champion, Cody Rhodes. The moment this match was announced, the WWE Universe has expected a classic. I think it is destined to deliver.
Doesn't matter the situation, the champion always has a winning game plan. WWE Hall of Famer. And from Cobb County, Georgia, weighing in at 350 pounds, the Big Boss Man. Big Boss Man, you know, had the longest hardcore title reign ever. And you know for a fact, he's not afraid to use that nightstick. He'll make opponents serve hard time. And representing the way from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. To be totally honest with you, a decade ago when I met Johnny Gargano in a VFW hall in Cleveland, I never imagined that he would grow into the superstar he is today. Johnny Gargano has made a career out of proving people like me dead wrong. Johnny Gargano was once a security guard in my security detail back in the day. I didn't even know who the guy's name was. Well, you know it now, and so does the WWE Universe. This is a no disqualification match. Anything someone can dream up to do to their opponent is legal. Take the rules and throw them out the window. Well, this allows a superstar to pursue victory by any means necessary. And some experience a state of twisted ecstasy while punishing their adversary. We are witnessing an environment where competitors can embrace their anger and aggressive instincts because it's all legal. This could do it. Nothing fancy here. That's still a quick kick out at this point. To the gut. Golly, that sounded rough. Right to the back. Corey, what can be the deciding factor in a match like this? It sounds cliche, but you need eyes in the back of your head. You don't know who's going to drop the hammer and turn your lights out at any moment. No disqualification means if it's not nailed to the floor, and he goes for the pin, placed in the corner, and he stops the count. Lucky him. Nice takedown, and now just battering knees. Oh, my God. Shot. What a effort. Now he's been put on the defensive. Look at him. Pride and poise personified. He's trying to intimidate his opponent one more time, but he's got to strike soon. Thrust right to the throat. Man can't breathe, and man can't fight position to be in right now. Oh, right to the throat. Ooh. On course, a thunderous shot. Ooh. Hoisted to the top. There is the Tower of London. Here's a cover. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Let him have this moment. He's earned it. 
He avoids the damage. Overhand right lands. He's absorbed some damage already. Targeting the throat there. That holds back Bossman's attack. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Walking in the sleeper hold. Into a neck breaker. Draped over the top rope. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. Oh! oh strong impact! Spinning kick in the gut. Uh, using the rope to their advantage. Punishing their opponent. More time, these guys. Prepare your face for that. Well scattered reversal there. He can do it. Oh, kick right in the face. Gets the shoulder up loud. What's it going to take? Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. It's a sight to behold. Take a picture while you can, everyone. Wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. Take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Oh man, you can see he is feeling it now. Oh yeah, let's just all take a moment to truly appreciate and embrace his presence. Oh, did you hear the sound that made? He can do it here. Oh, he breaks up the pin. He's reminding his competition that they'll only ever be second best. Oh, he fights boss man back. Able to get out of the way. Oh, right in there. He's getting pushed up into the defensive. Well, this deep into a fatal four-way match, you've got to expect to be a little worse for wear. Get him in the corner. Oh, vicious body shot. On the second row. An amazing performance outlasting three different opponents. It was a real testament to his abilities.